All right, let's see what we got in here. I already shoved this through the side of my finger once. So I'm very careful now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at this. My Kronta, that was um, Radio Shack. Oh, that's pretty. Better, we'll look at it later. Let's see here. I'm gonna find my glasses. No, uh -oh. we're gonna need the knife again. Don't you worry. I seldom stab myself twice in the same finger. I think what we have here is some flux. Yep, there we go. The top unscrews with the left hand thread. Do it slowly and carefully as the pump valve guts will fall out. The last part is pried off with a knife. Rob's original solder flux. Awesome! We will definitely be checking that out. <laughs> yeah. You can tell we watch his videos. We've got some rosin based solder goo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just like grandma used to make. We have some blue tack, and I have heard so much about blue tack. Very cool. Oh, we have some uh, five millimeter LED chrome panel mounts. Those look nice on the amp builds and stuff. Heat sinks of various sizes. Very nice. And thermal glue. Very cool. This is great stuff, man. Thank you so much. So there was a nice card in there from Rob. I just want to make sure there's no personal information before I checked it out and showed it to you guys. So this is all so cool. There are thermal paste, our blue tack, heat sinks, LED panel mounts, and solder goo. And this, oh yeah, and the flux, Rob's own solder flux, very cool. And this Micronta multi-tester, this is so cool. This definitely looks like the 70s to me. I can't do these sniff tests. I'm not that sophisticated. But we have a 20,000 ohms per volt DC, 10,000 ohms per volt AC, 18 position range function switch, including off, which is always good. Otherwise, your batteries run out, you know. Easy to read mirrored meter with color-coded scales. Built-in overload protection. Oh, man, this is just pure vintage beautifulness. Look at that. This reminds me about the size of these handheld football games that I played in the late 70s. Um, I can't think of what they were called. Hang on a second. If I can find it. It was called the Coleco Electronic Quarterback. And I'll stick a picture of it there in case any of you are of of my particular vintage, you may remember that. There was also baseball, basketball, and I think hockey. But don't quote me on the hockey. Yeah, these are beautiful. It's got the ohms adjust. Now you have the mirror here to let you know 
whether or not you're looking directly down on the needle. Because if you're looking off to the side, you'll see a reflection of the needle. That's uh, known as parallax, and that lets you know that you're not in the right spot. Look at these vintage cables. Oh, man, this is beautiful. There will be a full review and non-destructive teardown of this. I promise you. And I promise you we'll do it right after Thanksgiving, before Christmas. Rob, thank you so much for this stuff. This is just a box of super cool goodies, man. Absolutely love it. Can't thank you enough. I want to thank you guys for watching. Wouldn't be here without you. We're going on our sixth year. Yeah, sixth year. And right now, there are, hold on, 124,000. 532 subscribers so since december we've gone up 24,532 thank you guys so much i don't know why you like watching me i'm just an old fart engineer anyway thank you again for all the cool stuff rob thank you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace